Hey guys, I'm Medic Gamer, and today we're back on this Men 22 Giants franchise. It's week number 10. We're taking on the Chicago Bears and Justin Fields. Khalil Mack, our number one target today. Kind of washed up, though. Uh, I think. No, I'm joking. Um, I actually haven't checked the standings. Are we the only undefeated team remaining in the league? Uh, we're number one. And yes, we are. Uh, Chargers are up to second. Chiefs back to third. Packers back to fourth after we beat them last week. Then you got the Ravens. Uh, what happened to the Bengals? Six and three. Dang, they really fell off. Um, worst team in the league is either, I think it's the Dolphins now. Dolphins are the only team without a win, and it, I hope it kind of stays like that, because I don't think we've ever had a team in a Giants franchise go 0-16, definitely haven't had one go 0-17. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys when we get the game started. Alright guys, here we go, um, I'm not Soldier Field, I'm at Life Stadium here in Chicago. Not, what, something's wrong with me, I'm tired, I'm sorry guys. Um, MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. It's another cold game is what it seems to be. We got we got the long sleeves out here today. Um, just came off of a cold game in Lambeau, and here we are in a cold game in uh, East Rutherford. I love this jersey for Chicago. I had to put them on for them. We got a tough team to play. Um, ah, they're not the toughest. They're three and five. But uh, we can definitely do better than what we did uh, against... Green Bay, so that's that's what we're gonna aim for. Young Hoku to get us underway. We are underway from MetLife Stadium, and that is going to be a kneel down in the end zone touchback. Justin Fields, the second year man in the franchise. See what he can do on this first drive. And did we played him in season one. I I don't really remember it that well. I, mean, I know we won it though. Did we? We might have gotten the glitch against them. I know we got the no. We got the glitch against Carolina, and I think it was Carolina and Philadelphia. Those are the only two teams that's picked off though. Cam Hayward. Oh, Cam Hayward Jr. to the house. Not, I said Cam Hayward. Casey Hayward with a pick six to start the game. Casey Hayward Jr. To start off the game. Was that the second play of the game? I can't remember, but that is a pick six down the sideline for Casey Hayward. And just like that, Young Hoku is already on to kick the PAT. Oh, crap. No, we're good. Okay. We still haven't missed any PATs or field goals this year with um, Young Hoku. And just like that, uh, 10 seconds off the game clock. It's 7-0, it's and we're kicking the ball off again. Um, after the pick six. Not a good way to start the game for the Bears, taking on the only remaining undefeated team in the NFL. We'll see if Green Bay can rebound, though, after their loss. Pretty disappointing game for Green Bay. Yeah, we got an easy team to take on today, though. Yeah. Yeah, Chicago, you guys are easy. See, he almost got sacked. He had to get rid of it. He's 0 for 3 with uh, an interception to start the game. That's not good for Justin Fields. I mean, technically, he's actually 1 for 3. The completed pass wasn't to the right guy. Oh, my. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. Well, I thought this game was going to be a, a blowout after that one. Like, I mean, it still can be a blowout. I thought it was going to be a shutout after that pick, but, um... Okay! That should have been a pick, man. That should have been a pick. I choked that. Alright, oh, it's not even in the end zone. You guys suck. Alright, go sprint, Hunter. Up uh, past the 25, almost to the 30, up to the 29. We'll start the game with a run to Saquon. Saquon just disappeared. Why is he tired? What? What happened? Why is Saquon tired? Did he work too much in practice? I mean, yeah, that's good. You're getting, getting in that grind in practice, but I mean, why are you tired? You have not run a single play and you're tired. Four yards there to Ebron there. Saquon, why are you tired? This happened with like Julio Jones and Kenny Galladay in like the same game last year. Oh frick, we found Ebron again. That time it was 4-1 yard. And we, we can't even run the ball with Barkley because he's tired. I don't know. 
What? Saquon, why are you tired? My gosh. Just like disappear last game and now you're tired. Oh my gosh, three plays in a row. Eric Ebron, we're going to get him injured on accident. That time it was for like 15 yards though. I guess we just like can't run the ball. Um, because Barkley's tired. I don't know how. When he never ran a play all game. I mean, he, that was a pretty good run for being tired. Nine yards. Um, Saquon's tired though. That was the first time he's run in this game. CD Lamb. Okay, that's a good game. He's fighting forward up to the 26. I don't want to get Barkley hurt, so I'm, I'm not going to run with him. I'm liking that route. We got Shep on, though. Now Shakir catches that one. He should hurt Saquon. Mayfield, 5 for 5 to start the game. A lot of short passes, though. We had, like, one or two passes, really, for, like, long yardage in this one. One to Ebron and one to CD. I'm going to roll out. Nobody's open. I tried to get past the line of scrimmage. I couldn't. I guess Saquon's going to disappear for, for the whole game again. Unless they just got Mostert in now. Go, Raheem. Oh, wait, that was third down. Crap. All right, hurry up. I don't even want to think about the thought of, of having to kick a field goal. Oh, crap. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. We got it. Mostert's going to break a tackle, and he's up to the eight. Six for six to start the game for Mayfield. Put CD on the slant. I'm going to put Sterling on a curl. Oh crap, that's a bad throw. Catch that! Raheem! Raheem, it's bouncing off of people right in front of you. All you have to do is just put your hands on it, and that's a touchdown. That was a horrible play. I'm I, I looking for CD. I, I didn't even really look for Shep. I did, I just didn't wait long enough. That's a touchdown, though. Baker to Shep. Great college duo, and now in the NFL on the same team. That's a touchdown. Mayfield, that might be his 20th passing touchdown of the year now. That's something good. All right, and we are back out front after a great offensive drive. And uh, let's do the same on defense. Let's have a good defensive drive. Young Hoku to get us back underway. Still 100% on the PATs this year. We scored twice here in this opening quarter. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. Three and five is where they sit on the year. A very uneven start is certainly not an ideal All right, here we go. Fields, low man in the backfield. Throws. It's going to be caught. Oh, big hit from Harrison Smith. I love how Justin Fields only completed two passes and he got 82 yards. This Cole Kmet. This ship is about ready to pull out of port. These next couple of games are absolute must wins. Oh crap. Oh crap. They can win a couple, get to five and five. Up to the 50 on the run from Montgomery. That would move to three and six. And if that's the case, Saquon's like hardly played this year. He just disappeared last game and then he started, he he had to carry this game in like a reception and he's just tired. Like what's, what's up with that? I don't know what happened to Saquon. Just had like a stamina decrease. <laughs> Gosh, Justin Fields eating us up in those passing yards after just that one play that was somehow not a pick from James Bradbury, I think it was. Free safety zone blitz, love running this play. We try to get Javille Peppers in there for the sack, if or maybe just the loss of yards if it's a run. Probably going to be a run here because it's second and one. It is. Big, that was the most glitchy tackle I've ever seen. It was like... Got to kill him, and then he like glitched back up. And just, I, I don't know. I've never seen anything like that. Kind of starting to regret trading for Kyle Van Noy because I don't know if he's been playing much, but he's been a little bit of a disappointment. <laughs> um, all right, we're gonna cover one contain. We still got blocking some guys up deep, but we want to blitz here. 
Now it's field. Oh, come and freaking frat. Come on, James. I'm gonna blitz again. I wanna I wanna bring the heat to Justin Fields. A shotgun snap fields. Oh come on, come on. Oh, get the ball out. Why you should freaking light him up? Justin Fields is gonna eat us up in the running game, apparently. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first right, Clamp double go. Clamp double go. Clamp double go. Dallas five and three on the year. After we beat them, I still th yeah we play them one more time this year. That's a loss of yardage. Great job from Dexy. KC though eight and one. They took their first loss. That makes us the only undefeated team left in the the league. Three entered week nine and and one left. And one of the games played was between two undefeated teams. Us and Green Bay. Dang, Cleveland struggled. They had a decent start to the year, and then they lost a bunch of games in a row. So those defending AFC champs ever since Mayfield in the trade. Oh, freak, he was going to get lit up. He was going to fumble. We all know how that would have happened. All right, let's play some good defense here. Going to be expecting the run, just in case, though, we got some guys back playing defense. It is a run. Montgomery doesn't get it. Uh, he gets like two yards there. I'm gonna pinch Mike. You know, we still got coverage on those receivers, just in case they do happen to pass. We got Kyle Van Noy rushing on the edge here. They are actually passing. Good, good deflection from Blake Martinez. There, we're gonna go engage eight. So we got some guys in the zone. Uh, we got Jabril Peppers blitzing. We're gonna try to get him around the edge. They're gonna have to give him some time though. Here's a snap field. Dropping back throws. It's incomplete and it's fourth and goal. Great goal line stand. They're going to go for it, though. Got to watch the run here. Fourth and goal. Field snaps. And they do not get it. Goal line stand. Wow. We're going to go half back, guys. It is a goal line stand on that one yard line. And now we have the ball back in good condition. That's a first down for Raheem Mostert. That was that was some great defense there. Defensive line showed up. The secondary showed up too. We had that Blake Martinez deflection. Uh, and then I think it was Adoree Jackson also had a deflection. Um, great defense. Yeah, I love, I love to see that on the defense though. Darius Slayton's out here. Interesting. We haven't seen a lot of Slayton in this franchise. It's down the sideline. It's CeeDee Lamb. Many yards there. Eight for nine to start the game for Mayfield. That's that's always how you want to start start a game. And now CeeDee's tired after just one play. I guess Galladay's tired too. Oh, Slayton holds on. Throwing 90%, 108 yards, one passing touchdown for Mayfield in this one. In this this 7 to 14 game. It's really looking like Chicago is going to keep it close with us there, but great goal line stand instead of taking almost pretty much like the for sure 10 or the for sure three. They take the um, they take the risk of they take that risk of. Getting six. Over the middle, that's Hunter. No, Hunter sprint. <laughs> All right, we're, we're calling the hurry up. Hunter ran for a big game there. And that is a touchdown for Raheem Mostert. We're going to find him in the end zone. And Baker Mayfield, have a day. Throwing the ball amazing in this one. Probably the best we've seen Mayfield throw the ball throw the ball so far this season in a game. All right, I think we threw five completions in a row, and then we threw one incompletion ever since. We haven't thrown incompletion since that. We're, we're going for a long completion streak today. Uh, no Saquon for the rest of the game. I guess no Darius Slayton either. Um, they're not Darius Slayton. Kenny Galladay. He, did not even play that last drive. So we, we had a good run, and that was a 99-yard drive. 
So great drive for us there. Not a lot of time for uh, the Bears. Here we'll see what they do. Looks like they're gonna let it run. And we're gonna have the ball now. It is week 10. We're getting towards that end of the season. It is time to show up if you haven't had your good year. And that's what the Bears situation is right now. Um, it's starting to get to the crucial crunch time moments of the season, though. If you want to make it into the playoffs, you got to start winning the games. And uh, the Bears, they're not completely out of it yet. Uh, even if they lose this one, there's plenty of time. There's a flag on the field. We'll see what it is. That's going to be on us. Who was it? It was Nick Benito, the rookie. Rookie mistakes. But, um... Great drive last time out. I guess CD's not going to play now either. <laughs> we're, we're, we're dropping like bodies. Good play. Darius Slayton. He's going to break a tackle. We haven't seen any Slay this year. Slim Slay. And uh, we've been able to eat up the Chicago, the Chicago secondary so far in this one. So Hunter Renfro is uh, he's, he's a slot receiver, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know why he's at the, the wide receiver number one spot. Crap! Oh no! Hunter Renfro comes down with it. 14 completions for fifth, uh, in 15 attempts for Mayfield. That's a great way to, to play. Mayfield's uh, having himself a game throwing wise. As we're going to hand this one off to Raheem Mostert. Cut up the field, you know, not go for anything fancy. Just go for the yards, you know. Go for a hatback toss here. Try to get it around the outside. We're going to have to watch out for Mac attack. Khalil Mack. The Lion King, whatever you want to call him. I don't know why I just started calling Khalil Mack the Lion King one time. First down for Raheem Mostert. I'm glad we picked him up in free agency. Uh, when Saquon's not playing, he's been really helping this team out. So... You know, that was, I think that was a good pickup, you know. He was just left to rot in free agency, but we picked him up. Go, Slayton. I'm pretty sure in, like, the Madden 20 franchise, we, we actually had Slayton as, like, a tight end. And then we, um, we had him as a tight end for the first season of the Madden 22, or 21 franchise. Not thinking about that for this one, though. Oh, no, we had such a good completion. Um, consecutive completions. Uh, finally, though, it's Renfro is going to be the one to drop it. And did he get the first? I think he did. Third and inches. Aw, oh, dang it. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and audible. I'm going to try to punch this one up the gut with Mostert. Moster powering forward. He does not get it. Alright, we're gonna try to get it back up the middle. Power through this line here. Raheem Moster. <laughs> Hurdle it. <laughs> Touchdown. So we pass the ball well that drive, and then we're going to punch it in with Mostert. Young Hoku, it's up and good. Mayfield having himself a game passing-wise. Only two incompletions, a lot more consistent than Justin Fields has been. So I like, I like that we've been able to play well today against Justin Fields. Fields, I think Justin Fields is going to be one of those uh, up-there contenders for Rookie of the Year. Uh, I'm going to say Rookie of the Year is either Justin Fields. I don't think it's going to be Trevor Lawrence this year. That's a tough, um, really rough situation for that Jacksonville team. So I'm saying Trevor Lawrence, he's not going to be close to Rookie of the Year. Really just because I think it's the team he's on. Uh, I'm going to say Justin Fields or Mac Jones, and we have the ball back. I know he was not on the ground, too. Fumbling. And uh, we are in a good situation. I'm going to send Shep on the slant. Gronk. Red zone rob. Touchdown. Red zone rob. I don't even think we were in the red zone, though. So. 
One play for Mayfield, and he's got Gronk in the end zone. Great job getting away from the defender, the linebacker there. And, and Gronk can just run that one in for a touchdown. Hasn't had uh, many, many touchdowns this year. But, um... He's been at that backup tight end spot, but whenever he's been catching the ball, he's been pretty consistent. That's up and good again for again again for Young Hoku. He's um he's been um 100% on PATs and field goals this year. It looks like because I don't think it's ever happened once in Giants franchise history, but it's looking like a 100% year kicking field goals slash PATs for a kicker in Giants franchise. Young Hoku looking to be the first to do it. Probably one of the better kickers we've had in this franchise. You know, I've said it so many times. Oh, uh, Gabe, I thought Gabe Burkus would for sure do it, and he didn't. Um, Gano, he got close last year. I think he missed like two or three. Um, coming at two-minute mark here in the third quarter. No two-minute warning, though, because it's the third quarter. Tough game for Chicago. You know, they had that good start to the game with the, um, after the pick, they had the, like, the 85, no, 75-yard, what was it? Yeah, like, se I think it was 75-yard passing touchdown. But, uh, ever since that, they almost had the one drive they scored, went for it on fourth, did not score. It was a goal line stand. You don't see too many of those. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? It's gonna happen again. <laughs> no, wait, no, no, keep sprinting, Casey. It happened again. <laughs> it's been happening a lot this game. Um, we gotta watch out for that stuff. That's that's the second time it's happened. We tried to get the pick and it was a little too aggressive. We ended up missing it. Just as we were speaking about it, it happens. <laughs> Offense gets ready to come back onto the field, though. We look hyped with this huge lead over the Chicago, um, the Chicago Bears team. We'll, we'll return this one with Renfro. And Hunter Renfro up to the 25. 58 seconds left here in the third. Got a lot of backups in the game. I don't know what the thought behind that is. But, um, Coach Judge is like, yeah, we're going to give our, our starters a break today. Except for Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield doesn't take breaks. 18 for 20, 249 yards. He's going 300 yards in this game without a doubt. Like in this play right here. Same play, same player, Darius Slayton. Great yardage down the sideline there. He's having a he's having himself a game too. Have a game, Darius Slayton. You know, it's have a game Mayfield, also have a game Slayton. Alright, I'm thinking about throwing it back to back to Renfro. Don't drop it this time. Alright, Renfro's gonna catch another one this game. Turn 93 passing yards, three passing touchdowns. Have a game, Baker Mayfield. In Giants franchise, we don't see many quarterbacks throw over. Oh, and now John Ross is in here. Slim Slay is in here. Renfro's in here. We always like throwing streaks to John Ross. Definitely a deep threat. And we're going to find Slim Slay again. This time he's up to the six. Team sacks. Second on the year. And they only have two today. I'm looking for Slim Slay in the end zone. That's a touchdown, Darius Slayton. His first of the year. He hasn't gotten a lot of playing time this year. Have yourself a game, Baker. Have yourself a game, Slim Slay. This has been a fun game to play with, especially with Mayfield. He's been dominating. Um, passing the ball. We haven't seen... Well, I mean, like I said, we've been eating up the Chicago defense today. Um... Looks like their defense isn't the greatest. This offense has struggled, you know. They got lucky on a few um, aggressive moves on defense to get picks. Uh, that's that's their two touchdowns today. So they they both been very long passing touchdowns from Justin Herbert. Yes, but um, you know, whatever. I don't think they've even punted today. Have they? Yeah, they've punted. No, wait. No, maybe they haven't. I, have they? They get the first down there. Only 12 passes thrown from fields, but he's got lots of yards from the, the two touchdowns. Um, But Mayfield's got 300 plus today, so. 
Oh, dang it. Allen Robinson just, just ate us up right there. To the veteran Robinson for the Chicago first. Back to back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. It's fourth quarter crunch time for Chicago. Oh, crap. Oh, he fumbles again! Harrison Smith with the pickup and he's still going! Oh my god. Please, please don't call it back. Let's go. I oh, got Paul Ricard out here. I forgot we even had Paul Ricard. Ricard, that's like his second or third touch of the year on the ball right there. 23 for 25. 459 uh, yards allowed today for this Chicago uh, uh, defense. Mayfield looks to throw. Oh, crap. Break the tackle. I, I should have thrown it to Gronk right there. I don't know why I didn't throw it to Gronk. That was, that was, that was a dumb call for me. Wait, what? What did, Harrison Smith got hurt? What? Okay, after the, I guess after the recovery when he got tackled, he got hurt. Alright, let's try to get into field guard range here. Oh, I should have thrown it to Shep. Slide! And go for it. I'm going for it, I don't care. If I waited a little longer, I could have thrown that to Shep. I don't know, 52 yarder. We're going for it. Well, I mean, we're, it's not like it's going to make us lose the game if we go for it here, because, I mean, look at the score. Shep's going to have that up to about the 18, no, the 19. 24 for 26, 336 passing yards. Mayfield, have yourself a game, man. Chef's tired. We're good on that. No, I'm not planning on throwing it to him. Paul Ricard's getting some uh, some touches on the ball. Of course, we signed him out of free agency, and um, he, he's gonna, like I said, get some touches on the ball today. Two-minute warning hits in this dominant game where Mayfield has only thrown two incompletions. So it's Giants football here as we walk and into multiple the touchdowns. And goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Wow, oh, crap, there's the third. 25 for 28. That's that's still, despite the incompletion there, that's still having yourself a game right there. Looking for red, red zone rob. Red zone rob! Red zone rob in the end zone. It's a touchdown. His second of the game is fifth of the season. 48-14, Young Hoku on for the PAT. The worst thing that could possibly happen to us is Young Hoku misses the PAT because this has been the game we've wanted. The defense has performed well. Um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame most the, those two touchdowns. I'm all, I'm blaming those on me. I got too aggressive trying to get a pick, but I'm gonna go back to to what I was saying. It, ha you know, the. I've been impressed with this game. Mayfield's played amazing. Gronk has played amazing. Renfro's played amazing. Um, Harrison Smith, despite getting injured, has played amazing. Um, Slayton's played amazing. It's been a great game all around today. And it has been a blowout here in MetLife against the Bears. We've been able to eat up that Bears defense. Yes, two sacks for them, but... Still, we ate him up. Oh, crap. I knew he was going to do that. Why wouldn't it switch me to James Bradbury? Um, that's exactly 200 yards on the day now for, for Fields. My dog has just laid down in my room. Big hit from Casey Hayward. Had a pick six on the second play of the game. Oh, crap. So let him score now. Come on. Only six incompletions for, uh, for Fields, but I mean, compared... Compared to the three for Mayfield, Mayfield's played amazing in this one. Dominican Sue, bringing him down. 
This could be what he did. Oh, he's itching himself. I'm shocked, but yeah, no, no, he's itching himself. Eleven, not ten seconds left. Again, Fields. Fields throws. It's complete. First down, and that's probably the last play of the game. 49-14, the final. Great game from um, Baker Mayfield. Have yourself a game, Baker Mayfield. That's that's a uh, that's an MVP performance right there. I don't know who's even leading for MVP. I'll check after this. Matt, Matt, the game is over, Matt. Or, yeah, he all lost. Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield with a great game. You gotta give him player of the game there. Only three incompletions. We, we haven't seen a game like that from Mayfield in a while. Uh, we threw a lot of short passes today, though. Um, a few were longer, but yeah, a only a few shorter passes in this one. It was 10 average yards per play for Chicago. We had 10.3, so a lot of yards were, were being gained. We had the ball a lot more than Chicago, though. 89.6% completion rate, 355 yards, 5 passing touchdowns. Downs. I mean, just look at the stats for both Fields and Mayfield. We, they both played amazing. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.